So, hello everybody. Welcome to this day, which is a disaster. Got lots going on. Pool liner's going in right about now. So we're gonna send you up and we, you can watch that because that's I think that's kind of something that's neat. Man, oh man, new pool liner, the old one's sitting over here, <laughs> nice, thank the lord, it was a 90 degree day and we can't be in the goddamn pool, but tomorrow, I'm coming for you pool, but I want to show you guys what I've been up to for the past two days that I haven't filled you in on. But I'm going to continue from this point on. Yes. There's supposed to be a motor on this, but there's not. There's supposed to be wheels and everything else on that too, but it's all scattered right here. I've spent a fair share of the past two days tearing down all this crap, tearing down the motor and everything. Um, it's a mess. The cylinder, were, or the cylinder was all gunked up. There was all sorts of carpet on that. This was awful. I cleaned up a lot of that. Um, so that's nice. I got a bunch of new gaskets coming in. A new air filter. Look at this air filter. This thing has not been taken care of for the past nine years. And it's showing it. Hey, um, what I've been doing, I've been kind of grinding down all the rust and stuff. I'm going to repaint all this. Uh, I got to do all underneath too. That's just a bloody mess. I gotta do all that. So, I have my fair share of work put out for me uh, to get this thing back up and going. There's the block. So, it's been kind of a disaster. Everything's here though. And now we gotta kinda keep you updated. So, I'm actually on my phone right now, if you can't tell. Um, but, we're getting this thing back together. I already got um, a few components in, the piston, the crankshaft, and I'm working on putting in the uh, valves. So, making progress. Deck's painted, looking fresh, brand new. I actually look a lot better on camera than it does in real life, but we won't say anything about that. And now we're gonna keep on putting this thing back together. So putting the valve springs back in is proving itself much more difficult. And now, even better, probably can't see, but it's raining. Hey, and the pool's full. And got a solar cog around. I'm gonna go out in the rain to sacrifice for me. It's full, it's like 70 some odd degrees. I might get in it later. But we gotta keep on working on putting these valves in. I think I have a solution, but I'm not gonna show you yet. Cause I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, so it did work. So what I did was I took like old pieces of a uh, electrical wire. It's just uh, the, white part of it and I um, tied it or I put it in a vise and tied the string around it. I'll actually demonstrate with the other one um, in a second. So we'll give it and both valves are in. Look at me going. I'm flowing. Now I can put, throw in the cam shaft and everything. 
We are rolling. All right, so at this stage of the game, oil pan's on and all sealed up. And I'm just gonna throw on the rocker cover cover. And then I'm gonna throw on the flywheel, which is over there somewhere, I think, I don't know. I've been struggling to find parts right now. <laughs> um, hasn't been too bad. Oh, flywheel's right here. Um, but here and there, you lose your parts, even though you know they're here. All right, so I've been kind of just working around. I got the carb mounted up. I got pretty much everything almost ready to go. The crappy part is I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow or Monday to actually start this thing because um, I'm getting a new air filter and a new spark plug and I don't want to start up on either of these because yeah, and the spark plug's pretty gunked up. So I'm gonna get it all together and everything on the, actually I'm gonna wait, let that cure till tomorrow and then I mount everything on this. So, I'm gonna finish this up and see you guys in a minute. All right, so this is where I'm at. I think I'm gonna stop for the night. I got the car all mounted up, everything. Um, got almost everything mounted up, mufflers on. I still gotta put on the front piece there. I still got a bunch of stuff to put on. Miss a little laneous stuff, so. That's all for tomorrow. I'm gonna let this cure overnight, do all that tomorrow, and just overall finish this up tomorrow all right here we are day 673 motor's still not back on the mower we're still over here getting put back together slowly and just got my other parts so today we're finishing this i think i'm gonna set my camera up, up so over here somewhere and just to a little time lapse of me working on it uh, so it's better than just sitting here showing you what i'm doing
Alright, so, it's put back together for the most part. I have a few things that, like, there's little areas here that there's nothing. And then there's a couple things here, and there's actually a bolt right there. You can't see it, but... I don't know what those go to. So, I'm gonna go do some YouTube videos and figure out what they all are. And see what I'm missing and what I either lost or just am being stupid and didn't put back on. Alright, so the issue was that I was missing this spring. And I still don't know where this spring is. But this spring is just from a pen that I just kind of rigged up. Uh, I'm going to order the real spring and put it in there when I get it. But I don't feel like doing that because I just want to get the stupid thing started. So now I'm going to put the cover on it and it'll pretty much be done. And the cover's back on. It's starting to look like a real mower again. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Woo! Making progress. Now we got to put back the deck back together. So we're going to do that now. So now, since most of it's back together, I'm gonna put the wheels on last. I'm gonna put the motor on. The motor's right here. It's gonna go on. Then, I'm gonna mount up the piece that goes over this and then the wheels. And then we are done. And should be pretty close to starting her up. You know that spring I told you I couldn't find? I spent like an hour looking for that damn thing. And I'm just sitting here bolting in this, and I see it laying right in front of me. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Now I gotta take this apart again. Proper spring there. The lawnmower together. We're almost done. Looking a lot like a lawnmower again. Yeah! Look at us. We're professionals! Well, it hasn't started yet, so we don't really know about that. Now she's got oil. Now all you gotta do is wait for some gas because that is conventional, has ethanol in it. I'm done putting ethanol in this oil, or in this motor, so I'm getting premium, and I'm gonna put some good stuff in it. And we should be good to run. Um, I'm probably gonna crank this a couple times so that the oil lubricates a little bit. So, I'm gonna set her down. 
and I put the rail back on. I'm gonna do that before I do anything else. And there we have it. Just back together. Yes. Now take it up, Jack stand. This is the first time in two weeks this mower has touched the ground in almost full force. I actually forgot to put the blade on. Now it is on the ground and done and rolling too. Look at that. Now I'm going to pull it out of the garage and we're going to just crank it up a little bit, get the oil flowing and then wait for my mom to get home so we can go get gas.